Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look at Thurston Avenue Apartments, page A102, but more specifically, we're going to look at the kitchen. Right now we're in the midst of designing our kitchens and doing details and elevations, and I thought it was important that we take a look at this area. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it a little clearer, and hopefully be able to pan around to look at what we're looking at here. So here we have our kitchen, and you can see that we have some symbols, and symbols are really important when we look at architectural drawings. An REF, a refrigerator. Here's our range. It's a very common symbol for a range. We have a four burner range. We have a sink. Remember this is a sink and bathrooms have lavatories. So here's our sink. And we have a DW, something new for us. That's a dishwasher. And I would assume this little area right here is called the utilities chase. It's where utilities would run up through to other floors. That's just a guess. In the midst of our kitchen, we can see that it's labeled as kitchen. It has a 78 SF. That's how many square foot the kitchen is. Um, we have a nice work triangle here from the sink to the range to the refrigerator. So it looks like a really decent work triangle without taking a scale we wouldn't know. More specifically, we also want to look at this symbol right here. And this symbol is important to us. So it tells us that this, these are elevations, and there are three elevations. Unlike the bathroom over here, which has four, this kitchen has three. The fourth elevation we'd be looking at over the dining room wouldn't do us any good. We can see that these elevations are labeled. First off, the A251 is the page that we would find our elevations on. We would look at A5 would be the elevation of looking at the refrigerator. A3 would look at the range, and A1 would look at the sink and dishwasher. So let's go take a look at that page. We can quickly scan to that if you've downloaded this to your computer or system. We know that's going to be on page 42, so we can type in a 42 there. It'll zoom in. And remember, we're looking at those elevations of the kitchen, and if we scroll around here, we're going to find those. And remember, those were A's. So we can see right here, here's those three elevations that we're looking at. We can scroll right and left as well. But for this, this case, we're just going to look at these three elevations. And we can see that they're labeled as Kitchen West, Kitchen North, Kitchen East. And that goes along with our compass orientation for our plan view. Just like our drawings, we're going to label everything about these. We're also going to state widths of things. And hopefully, um, if this were done, we would also signify the heights. In our drawings, we're also going to give heights. Because the point, point of an elevation is to give more detail. We can't see the heights of cabinets when we look at our floor plans. So I hope this little video helps you. I hope it clears up some of the misconceptions that we may have about the interactions between elevations and floor plans. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or violent disagreements, please reach out and ask. I'm more than willing to help. Thanks for watching.